four girls came forward and like we all ended up group facetiming and i rather keep it real with ya real hot girl shit Hey guys, welcome. Oh my gosh, this is such an awkward setup. Fuck. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to 194. I haven't done a painting video or a life update video in a really long time. And I'm in the process of editing two other videos to upload right now, but I just feel like putting those up before like a life update video wouldn't be right because I just feel like those videos are so from, from, from so long ago that it doesn't even feel recent. Doesn't even matter. I'll get into it later while I'm painting, but <laughs> get your paints out, get your brushes out, get your canvases out so y'all can paint with me. And like always, if you're painting with me and post it, I'll repost it. I forgot to bring my easel from home. So you guys, like, remember when I would have like the easel and the canvas right here and you would see exactly what I'm doing? I didn't bring it. So... I was supposed to start recording this video like way earlier on in the day. So much went down. And then by the time I was finally settled down to record, I realized my SD card was out of storage and I couldn't delete anything because I was still editing those videos. So I took my ass to Best Buy. My favorite thing to do is lock eye contact with random people and see who looks away first. Does anyone work here, bro? Excuse me? Um, where are the SD cards? Okay. Alright, thank you. Honestly, this is the last one, so I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know if it's the right one, but... Just bought... My new home at 18. What are y'all doing? <laughs> so this is my oven. The workers are giving me dirty looks. I think I need to go. I literally love soup so much. Like, you have no idea. Anyways, I told you guys to get nosy, get personal, ask anything you want. It's been a while since I've just kind of, like, sat down and had a conversation. A conversation as if y'all can reply to me. I feel like you guys don't really know who I am anymore. <laughs> it's not it's not that deep it's really not but i just feel like there's so much that you guys don't know answers to a lot of questions you guys have about a lot of things i'm here to break down some of those things for you also that's my postmates order on the bed it was taking too long so i made a bowl of noodles and then i made the bowl of noodles and it came within two minutes so now i have um both <clears throat> i should start painting why is this intro so long but I posted a story tab on my Instagram story and I told you guys, ask me whatever your little heart desires, what you're aching to know about my life, what, what you want me to catch you up on. And so I picked some of my favorites. We're going to go through and I'm going to answer. Yeah, that is how a Q&A works, Verena. Thank you. No, no. Toby, get the hell out. Toby, no, no. No! No! <sighs> so I've been fighting demons with this pimple for like two days now. Look at this. So I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do to this yet. I know I wanna like put more detail into the clouds and fix that because I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I know I wanna add more detail to her hair and I'm, you know, I'm probably gonna start working on the background actually. So let's do that. By the way, I have a candle lit. This is a very intimate setting. I'm pretty sure those were gunshots, but like... Okay, so the first question is... So like, dot dot dot, have any hoes? 
The answer is no, actually, and I'll tell you why. I had hose, and then I just got really bored and tired of wasting my energy talking to guys. Like, literally just taking up time in my day to reply to a text. It's just energy that a man doesn't deserve from me. <laughs> I mean, if I'm not trying to pursue them, you know? Like, if we're talking hose-wise, like, no. Nobody has my attention that way. Like, will I entertain now and then? Yeah. But, like, I really don't reply to anybody at all. Y'all know I went through a breakup a while ago, and, like, after that, I started talking to a lot of guys. It just got really draining and, like, boring, having the same conversation over and over. And, bitch, if I have one more damn talking stage, I just can't. I'm dropping out of the race. Y'all, I'm out of the water, the fish, the... St I'm not an available fish. I'm out of the streets, period. And I know we said hot girl summer, y'all, but... <sighs> To be honest, healing girl summer is what I'm on. Now y'all have fun. Y'all be safe. I'm trying a new paint and it is not pigmented at all and I'm not fucking with it. How many people have you dated and will you ever be in a relationship anytime soon? I don't know how to answer how many people I've dated. Like I've had like those little middle school boyfriends. I had like little high school boyfriends and like None of them were good boyfriends, so I don't know if I want to say I've had a boyfriend. I would say I've been in two relationships. I feel like I only had real feelings for like two of them. I don't even know if they were real feelings, maybe just like obsession. Will I be in a relationship soon? I'm not looking for one, and really nobody has sparked my interest like that. Soon, I don't think so because I also wouldn't be one to like jump in a relationship right away if I like someone. So like honestly, no, I don't see myself being in a relationship anytime soon. Why did you delete all your posts? Okay, a lot of people were confused about this. Understandable. I was just going through all of my posts that I've ever posted, right? I was just looking at my past self and then I started having an identity crisis. I didn't want to be perceived, so I just took down all my posts. But they're back, most of them. I was so down bad. I really sat there for like... I don't know how long and archived all 250 posts like is it that deep is it that deep but yeah i'm okay i was just being dramatic or whatever how do you feel about the show you're in so it's a kid show and honestly i think it's really cool for a lot of reasons i'm not saying it because i'm in it and the acting on my end is actually really really bad and it's quite embarrassing so I'm not saying like, oh yeah, like it's so good, go watch it. Because the last thing I would want you to do is watch it. But I think it's actually really cool. For example, there's a lesbian couple on there and it's a kid show. Like you don't see a lot or uh, as a matter of fact, any LGBT representation in kid shows. Because normalizing it in media for like the new generation is so important. They're literally paving the way, you know what I mean? I don't think I'm going to do the claws right now because it's really pissing me off. And I'm going to focus on something. Else. Okay, now that I fucked that up. So I'm actually gonna use my Posca Posca paint pen markers. I don't know how you pronounce it. What happened to bro who got your name tattooed? Okay. <laughs> oh. So this is something I always told myself I didn't know if I wanted to, wanted to talk about or not. But some time has passed, and I think enough time has passed. Um, basically, if you didn't know- Ooh, that's too light. Um, maybe like six months ago? Five. No, like maybe four months ago? I met this guy, and we knew each other for about two months, and after about- two months of being friends he decided that he really really liked me and he wanted to be with me but i just was not ready to be in another relationship i let him know that and i told him i wouldn't be ready anytime soon so so do not wait on me don't do any of that and he was like okay cool i'm cool with that i'll be your friend until you're ready and i was like okay no that's waiting on me and he was like okay then i'll just be your friend and i was like Okay. And we had this joke where I would only say yes to my husband's proposal if he got my name tattooed. Or boyfriend's proposal if he got my name tattooed. Like to marry him. And so one day he was like, if I got your name tattooed. And I was like, ain't no way. 
Like, no, you wouldn't. And I was egging it on because I thought he was joking. And I was like, no, you're not going to get my name tattooed. Like, bet. No balls. Like, say you won't. He was like, okay, no. Like, you said no balls. Like, I'm going to do it. Like, I went back down. And I was like, no. I was like, you're going to regret this. You start talking to someone and they feel some type of way about you having your friend's name on your wrist. Like, they're going to think this is something more. And he was just, like, so down to get this tattoo. And he really wanted to get it. And I was telling him no. Backstory as to why I was so adamant on not dating this guy. Because to you guys, you're probably like, oh my god, Brina, like, this guy is so down for you. Like, like why wouldn't you want to date him? Blah, 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 blah. Aside from the fact that I just did not want a boyfriend at the time. The first time I hung out with this man, I brought a black tourmaline crystal with me. Usually when I meet new people or like a new guy i'll bring a few crystals with me i kid you not guys we were literally just sitting in the car the first time we hung out we like we just went to a view and talk my black tourmaline broke and it was literally just sitting in my bag like i wasn't moving my bag around or anything like i did not drop my bag there is no like it was literally the only one and it was like a big piece like there's no way it could have shattered the way it did like i'm telling you guys this this literally like shattered to bits and pieces and if you don't know black tourmaline is a crystal to protect, to protect you from negative energy or people trying to harm you so i get home and i see in my bag that it's literally shattered shattered and i'm like mind blown i go to my local metaphysical shop the next day and i'm like listen this happened what do i do do i run for the hills do i give him a chance like help me and i was talking to the guy and he was basically saying that that you that the person either had ill intent towards me or they were just a really negative presence they were just a really good a really negative person i did have a bad gut feeling about this person me and my friend would always joke around that he was like a serial killer and so that with that the two just did not <laughs> sit well with me and something inside of me just truly believed that this man was a serial killer or something he would just do like weird shit sometimes and it just like really added up to the serial kill like i kid you not bro like i did ask i just always had such a bad gut feeling and i just couldn't allow myself to look past it and like try to give him a chance because he was doing all the right things like doing everything perfectly he was saying all the right things doing all the right things and it's like and i was even questioning it too i was like girl what are you doing like if you don't wife this man but like something in me just did not allow it also he was just giving a lot of the red flags that my ex had and i felt like i owed it to myself this time around to trust my intuition this time and i trusted my intuition and i went with it even though i wanted to ignore it but yeah i didn't thankfully why am i not painting i think i'm gonna do like an eye no, but then I some crazy shit happens in my life and I really wish I could talk about it on YouTube, but I feel like I can't for like a while until some time passes and this is one of those moments. I feel like my life is a movie and I'm just... I'm literally the main character. <laughs> I'm sorry. Back to the story. He was so adamant about getting this tattoo and I was just like, okay, I hope you know if you get this tattoo, it's on you. I am not supporting this. If you are, that's crazy that you fuck with me this much. I'm flattered. But I hope you know this also does not mean that I'm gonna date you. And I made it very, very clear that this tattoo was not gonna like make it more. Because I felt like that was his intention behind it to like show me how much, I don't know. I really don't know what his intention behind it was. Like I wanted to make it clear that just by him doing this, that I was not obligated to do anything in return. I was not obligated to give him any sort of relationship or commitment because I like made it clear multiple. Like, I'm not obligated to share myself with you. Like I didn't ask you to do that type thing, you know? But yeah, and then literally, I'm not even kidding you, like a few days after he got the tattoo, I ended up blocking him. Four girls came forward and like, we all ended up group FaceTiming and there was just like so much fucked up shit. I don't know, it was crazy. I'm not even gonna get into what they said because that's their business and I'm not also gonna air out like potential rumors about this guy because like I'm not trying to, uh, I'm just telling a story. But yeah, they, they were saying some crazy shit. I found out some crazy shit and I was like, dude, you know what? This is why I don't talk to men. I should have kept my business elsewhere and I kept it pushing blocked him and that was that and i know you're like okay well why would you believe them right off the bat blah blah, blah. i am always 
gonna believe the people that come forward period and like other stuff they were saying about him kind of added up and like i like my gut feeling was right not he's not a serial killer but, but like my gut feeling was right also i just feel like i've been hurt in the past i also do have trust issues and i'm just like dude if i'm group facetiming with four other girls right now like this is something that i don't need in my life like this all this whole situation is the biggest red flag and i want no part you know protect my energy protect my peace and i i just like limit the people that have access to me in that way i don't know i'm just very protective of myself now and i don't have room to be like risking other people messing up my piece even if i see potential like i just i'm i'm good over here <laughs> i'm good over here <laughs> yeah that is the story about about that i know a lot of you were aching to hear that and i got reposted on so many damn meme pages and everyone's calling me manipulative i would too if i just saw the post here's the actual story the caption that i put on the tweet was a literal joke like it, it was literally just a joke i forgot that people who don't watch my like Twitter also has audiences of people who don't watch my channel and understand your understand my humor So understandable, but all in all I think the tattoo was a red flag and looking back now I'm really glad that I just kept it pushing blocked and moved on With my life. I hope he's doing good though Is there any version of you that you miss today? And I'm actually really glad this was asked because I feel like this is how I really feel. And the answer is yes. The version of me that I miss is the version that all of you guys miss. And the version that I am constantly compared to, which I don't mind. Like, she is cool as hell. I love her. I miss her so much too, just like you guys do. When I first started YouTube, I was 15. There are videos on my channel of when I was 15 years old. That old version of me was only the version that I wanted you guys to see at the time, you know? Even now, like, I feel like I'm pretty transparent with you guys and I feel like most of my life is like out there on the internet. But what I want to keep private will always be private. So it's like, yeah, I miss her. It's like you guys are always like, oh, I miss her. I miss that Verena. I miss the old Verena. But it's like, y'all didn't see what that Verena went through behind the camera when the camera's off, you know? Like, I do miss that version of myself so much, but I'm really glad that that part of my life is over, you know what I mean? Because I guess, like, my passion from YouTube more so came from, like, it was like an escape from everything else that was going on. I was just, like, a very naive little girl. Like, going back and looking at old pictures or watching my old videos is literally so... So crazy like feels like I'm just watching a completely different person and that's because it is a completely different person I don't mind when people say they don't like the new me because I'm not gonna always be everyone's cup of tea you know it's like damn bro I miss her too but like that was also three years ago you know what I mean I was like 15 16 17 like I got older you know people just get older I don't like it though I literally love the woman I'm becoming like I love myself so much there were just so many things that I look back on my old self for and I just admire so much that I like qualities that I don't carry anymore and I'm still constantly trying to like pursue my passions in the things that my old self loved doing because I just feel like I owe that much to her yeah it's just cool to like constantly watch new versions of myself I guess and it's just all documented on the internet forever want to see forever ever been high take a good look at me right now like right this second take a look at me period take a look at my room take a look at the postmates on my bed <laughs> i have not added much to this i think i just made it uglier and i just like i'm already kind of over it like i kind of just can you show us your newest tattoos let me show you my two newest tattoos i got these on the same day this is a little snake on my hand and then oh, my dad's gonna see this okay well dad once you see this and you call me just know that i'm gonna be recording our phone call so i could give them your reaction um this is a tattoo i got for my dad 
he hasn't seen it yet obviously that's his birth year and i got a motorcycle because when i was in elementary school he would always pick me up on his motorcycle and i always felt like the baddest bitch so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for listening to me talk i feel like i make no sense most of the time but if you painted with me i bet you're painting or i hope Oh, I know for a fact your painting came out way better than mine. <laughs> Don't forget to post and tag me so that I can repost it and admire all your beautiful paintings. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Or thanks for watching 194. Bye from 194. Okay, maybe the outro doesn't work. I don't know. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, what a beautiful.